Oh, hi, didn't see you come in. Welcome back to another brand spanking new episode of The Frost Bite. With me, your hostess with the mostest, your bestie who's the bestie, Vivian Frost. Now, continuing my traditional Halloween weekend Lady Dimitrescu cosplay show, blah, 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 tonight's halloween episode is about the best spider movies. Now, there's actually a lot of spider movies, and most of them are flat-out sci-fi channel garbage, but there's actually some really fucking great ones, which I'm going to tell you right now. Now, again, this is just my list. Now, two of these movies are not exactly spider movies, but they have two amazing scenes with spiders that honestly are better than any spider movie I didn't mention on this countdown, to me at least. Now, look, full disclosure, have I seen every fucking spider movie? Fuck no. However, I've seen all these and a few more, and these are the 10 best spider movies. So numero 10 Doing this slide with my slideshow. There we go. Boom. 2000s spiders. You know, there's experiments on a NASA space station. It gets hit by meteors and then it crashes to Earth and then giant spider. You know, it's almost like Spider X, you know, Jason X, Spider X uh, with the space thing kind of coming into play. But it's just, it's cheesy. It's fun. It's dumb. It's a B movie as a giant spider movie, except one other, except one giant spider movie should be. So yeah, again, these are gonna start off really, you know, these are the, you can skip these last ones. You know, I'll be honest with you, you don't have to worry about them. They're fine, you know, spiders is fine. If you like the genre, it's one of the better ones, put it to you that way. And then we have tarantulas, the deadly cargo. Now this isn't, no, this poster just says tarantulas, but it's actually tarantulas, the deadly cargo. Tom Atkins is in this movie, total side character, but still like the best part of the fucking movie for the most part. This one's silly. It's about regular old spiders. They're just super poisonous tarantulas that, you know, in another movie's style, if they bite you, you're pretty much dead kind of thing. And they're, you know, terrorizing the town. It's fine. It's, you know, it's got Pat Hingle in it, Commissioner Gordon from Tim Burton's uh, Batman verse. It's a fine, it's a, it's a fine, you know, seventies film. You'll put it to you that way. Totally fine. Got some well-known character actors in it. And it's fine for a spider movie, but not as good as the spider scene in the mist. Now, again, this is one of the, you know, cheats. It's not exactly a spider movie, but the spider scene in this movie is fucking terrifying on par with any of the spider terror in any other movie on this list. Um, you know, the way they crawl out, when they bite and it's like acid kind of, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's fucking terrifying. These spiders are fucking terrifying. A movie with just the spiders would have been enough. It could have just been the spiders in the mist and it would have been terrifying. Absolutely. Great spider scene, worthy of the countdown. Now, here's the other cheat. First off, love the cover art. Full cheese to beyond. The spider scene in this is so fucking gross and creepy. You just gotta see it, honestly. I don't wanna spoil too much because it seems like a lot of people haven't seen this one and it's fucking great. And it's got one of the best spider scenes in film history within its runtime. Now we have one that came out this year, I believe, or last year, Sting. It's This is more like a family kind of movie. It really isn't that graphic or bad, I'd say. Um, also, they could have cut like 10 minutes out of it and, and made it flow better. And that's my complaint with this movie. It just doesn't, it like lags and like, it's, it's, it's pace is uneven, it has an uneven pace. Uh, they tightened up this movie a little bit, made it a little shorter, just tightened it up. It would be probably a little bit higher on my list, but it's fine as far as a spider movie goes. It, you know, typical, like, that's the dumbest shit ever, but it's a spider movie. You know, and I, by, I mean, like, character decisions. That's fucking stupid. Oh, of course, because it's a spider movie. Anyway, not bad. Check out Sting. And then we have the one that Leo G. Carroll, you know, referenced in um, Rocky Horror Picture Show, uh, science fiction double feature, Tarantula ran for the hills, and Leo G. Carroll was over a barrel when Tarantula ran. I was saying it. Switch that, reverse it, whatever Wonka says. I'm, the weed's kicking in already. This is take two, by the way, because the first take where I inhaled, I fucking, I know he's fucking itched like crazy and had to stop it. Anyway, Tarantula. For a 1950s movie, the special effects are groundbreaking today, like you could do it in your backyard with forced perspective for the most part. But it shot so well. It was the originator, pretty much, of the, the spider movie genre. It, I mean, as far as I know. As far as I know. Uh, so it's still fucking great. It's a fun fucking watch. Uh, I, I recommend like doing the Rocky Horror like marathon. And by that, I mean like Tarantula, Fla yeah, not the 80s Flash Gordon, um, but you know, all the songs referenced in science fiction will feature and then watch Rocky Horror. And then of course, watch Shock Treatment, underrated sequel. Uh, but Tarantula, numero seven. Uh, and then we have the William Shatner Spider movie, Kingdom of the Spiders. Now, 
The reason this movie's higher than like Sting and Tarantula, honestly, is because the ending, and I don't want to go any further than that, but I love the ending. It's just a shame that it's a, a it's a matte painting, B, um, it's in this cheesy movie. Because it's really cheesy, but it, it takes itself seriously. So I think you buy into it a little more to where you're kind of along for it. Like, okay, I can see this. Okay, it's not too unrealistic necessarily, but uh, this was one they could remake because I, I don't know if a lot of people would see this. or you know, This generation has probably never seen this fucking movie. Uh, but love the fucking ending. It's fucking great. That's a, it makes it, the ending makes it worthwhile when you watch it. And thus, it's on the countdown. Now, another one I think at least released this year, but maybe it's a couple years old from France, I think, but Infested. Uh, again, it's a giant spider movie, so the perfect chemical compo- five chemical components come together to make a giant a, a killer spider movie. And they come together in this movie in a little bit of a different way. Uh, it's got a cool class-based kind of message to it. It is subtitled, you know, and some people don't like that. But I think it was fucking great. I really enjoyed it. I shot well. It's got a good atmosphere. And it's actually got some good scares, I thought. And it's, it's, it's really fucking... I, I, it's, it's different. It's, it's a fresh... It's a foreign giant spy, killer spider movie. So if you want to kind of get what I'm getting at with that, you like Infested. And then we have number two, Eight-Legged Freaks. Say what you will. I fucking love this movie. This movie is 90s, late ni- mid and late 90s. I don't remember when it came out. Maybe early 2000s. Whenever it came out, it's that perfect era of cheese. David, peak David Arquette, yes, peak David Arquette in this movie. Uh, Car- Carrie War, oh my God, I was I, after I saw this movie, I was I wanted to be her so much, so beautiful. And then she shows up in uh, what did I just see her? Oh, thinner. She, she's in a ton of stuff. Beautiful, beautiful woman, and I honestly, honestly, underrated actress. What was that road movie she was in? Highway? No, not Lost not Highway. Oh, I'm not thinking of. I can't think of it. The weeds kicking in really fucking hard. Eight-Legged Freaks, it's fucking hilarious. And it says from the producers of Independence saying, Godzilla, this is better than either of those. Because the American, Roman, Roland Nimmerick Godzilla, I don't care what you fucking millennials think. Movie's fucking garbage. Fuck you. Fuck that goddamn movie. I agree with, most, with you on a lot of takes, but not that one. Fuck no. But Eight-Legged Freaks is better, yes, it's better than Independence Day. Independence Day is the cheesiest fucking movie ever. But it's too fucking long. And you only want to watch it once a year. I gotta watch Eight-Legged Freaks once a month and be totally happy. So that's my justification of that statement. But what is the best Spider movie? And if you know anything about Spider movies, you should know that there's a very big one that I haven't mentioned. Of course, the greatest Spider movie ever made has to go to Madam Web. Now, look, I didn't believe... I mean, I, mean, I bought into, like, the hype, the, like, the negative hype, how terrible it was. But then when I saw this movie, my senses were fucking blasted by the cinematic genius bullshit that I'm feeding you right now. Because, of course, it's goddamn arachnophobia. Fuck Madam Web. Terrible movie. Honestly, seriously. Bad, bad, bad. It's it, Believe it. It's, it was so fucking bad. Oh, my God. But no, it's not bad. Arachnophobia. R.I.P. Julian Sands. Jeff Daniels. This movie is so fucking good. You got all your stereotypical, like, small town characters. And you got these tiny little spiders that, if they bite you, you're fucking dead. And they're not, like, gi- it's not a giant tarantula. It's not a, big, a regular-sized tarantula. These are, like you know, bigger than normal wolf spiders for the most part. So they're not necessarily out of place. They're like, oh, that's a big spider. But they'll fucking kill you. The music, the cinematography, the poster was fucking great. I had this poster. I had my video story. made sure they gave me this poster when they took it out of the window that it was, you know, a new release. Because I love this poster. So fucking good. Good poster tells us just what you need to know of the story. Tells you everything you need to know in that image right there. Fucking great. Love the movie. John, Go- oh, John, that's, that's the one I was forgetting. Fucking John Goodman. Yeah, as the exterminator, you know, why is that mo- why is that character not have his own fucking spin-off? For real, for real. Anyway, so what is the greatest spider movie ever made? Well, it's ab- obviously Arachna fucking phobia. As far as I'm concerned, and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. As Colin Quinn, the second worst um, anchor for Weekend Update, in my opinion, to be a totally off subject, but subscribe right here. Tell me what video this one is in the comments below, because that's one that YouTube thinks you should watch based on all the other weird shit that you watch. Hope you enjoy enjoying the Halloween content. Only got a couple more episodes left of that. And until next time, motherfuckers, happy Halloween and stay fucking frosty.